welcome to Travel Discovery. I'm Lisa, your virtual travel host. Today we are discovering the country of Finland. Finland recently took the number one spot for the happiest country in the world. So let's learn more about this country. Finland is a northern European nation bordering Sweden, Norway, and Russia. Its capital is Helsinki, and it occupies a peninsula and surrounding islands in the Baltic Sea. There are about 5.5 million people. The official language is Finnish, and the people are called Finns. Almost half of Finland's foreign population lives in Helsinki. 74% of the country is forested. Finland has more forests than any other European country. The area size is larger than the UK or Italy. There are also over 187,000 lakes in Finland. That's why Finland is known as the land of a thousand lakes. Finland has managed far better than the majority of Europe during the pandemic, with just over 70,000 cases and 105 deaths, according to John Hopkins University at the time of this recording. So it's done quite well during this difficult time. Did you know Finns are the world's biggest coffee drinkers? Most people would think Europe's coffee capital would be Italy or France, but no, it's the Finns that consume more coffee per capita than any other country, not just in Europe, but the world. The Northern Lights can be seen from the country's Arctic Lapland province in the north, a vast wilderness with national parks and ski resorts. Although Finland is often lumped in with Scandinavia, the country's language shares nothing in common with its Scandinavian friends. The Finnish language is consistently ranked as one of the most difficult to learn due to complex verb and sentence structure. English is quite widely spoken in Finland, though not quite as prevalent as the other Scandinavian countries. Just under three quarters of Finns report being able to speak English, many of them fluently. So it's still plenty enough for English-speaking tourists to get by just fine when you visit Finland. In Helsinki, the summers are comfortable and partly cloudy, and the winters are long, freezing, snowy, dry, windy, and mostly cloudy. Over the course of the year, the temperatures typically vary from 17 degrees Fahrenheit to 71 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 8 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius. The best time of year to visit Helsinki and Finland in general for warm weather activities is late June to mid-August. You get almost 24 hours of sunlight. Breakfast is a savory affair in Finland. Sweet breakfasts are popular in some parts of Europe, but not in Finland. Bread with butter, cold cuts, cheese eaten on top of bread, open-faced sandwiches, that's part of the Finnish diet. Rye bread in particular is very common and popular. Finland is also known for its famous Finlandian vodka. Licorice is a favorite treat. Many Finns will tell you that their chocolate rivals the German chocolate. They also have delicious berries and wonderful high quality ice cream. Next, let's talk about the Finnish sauna. Finns love the sauna. Estimates put the number of saunas in Finland at around 2 million. They can be found in city apartments, forest cabins, and even some big companies and state institutions. Don't be shocked to see people rolling around in the snow or taking a dip in Arctic waters to cool down and then going back into the sauna. Young and old enjoy the sauna, essential to the Finnish culture. Let's talk about the excellent educational system in Finland. There are no mandated standardized tests in Finland, apart from one exam at the end of a student's senior year in high school. 
There are no rankings, no comparisons, no competition between students, schools, or regions. Finland schools are publicly funded. 93% of Finns graduate from academic or vocational high schools. That's 17.5 percentage points higher than the United States, just to give you an idea. 66% of Finns go on to higher education, and that is the highest rate in the European Union. It's also almost unheard of for a child to show up hungry or homeless. Finland provides three years of maternity leave and subsidized daycare to parents. In addition, the state subsidizes parents paying them around 150 euros per month for every child until he or she turns 17. If you want more information on that, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Hey, hey. That is goodbye in the Finnish language. See you next time on Travel Discovery to see what country we will discover next. <laughs>